Today I want to talk to you about how to use call numbers to find books in our library. I am going to look at books about basketball. I can type in basketball and hit enter or I can click on the keyword button. The first books that come up you'll notice have an actual number at the beginning. This means that they are a nonfiction text. All the no our nonfiction texts will begin with a number, a whole number or a decimal number. And then three letters that are the first three letters of the author's last name. So I can use that information. These are all, this whole first page, these are all nonfiction texts. And I can tell because they begin with that decimal number and then the letters for the author's last name. Now I want to continue looking at all the books I can find about basketball. So I'm going to click on page two. And as I scroll down, I notice that my call numbers change. I've got, here I have numbers, and now here, now this call number does not start with numbers, it starts with a B. B stands for biography. So now I know I need to look in the biography section of our library. And there's one thing different about the biography section. Instead of the three call, three call letters, being the beginning of the author's last name, you'll notice that they are the first three letters in the last name of the person that you're studying, or that, that the book is about. So this is about Charles Barkley. His last name is Barkley, so the letters are B-A-R. This is about, Co this book is about Kobe Bryant, so it starts B for biography, and then B-R-Y, because those are the first three letters of his last name. So that's different than the other call numbers in our library. They usually the letters in the other, well, in the other sections, they are the first three letters of the last name of the author as opposed to the subject of the book. Then we also have some everybody books. So now our call numbers, instead of starting with a B, start with an E. This means they're in our everybody book section. And now, again, the three letters are the first three letters of the author's last name. So if you wanted to find this book, you'd go in our everybody section and look for J-O-R. We also have nonfiction, or we also have, excuse me, fiction chapter books about that have to do with basketball. So these books begin with a letter F. So now you know you're going into the fiction section and you're looking for the author Adler, so you're looking for ADL to find this book, Cam Jansen and the Basketball Mystery. If I continue to scroll, so there's many, many fiction options. And it will tell you if it's paperback or hardback, but all of our fiction books are kept together. I want to keep looking so I can see all of the books that we have about basketball. And then I notice something different at the end here. I found a nonfiction, but it wasn't with the other nonfiction. I know that it's nonfiction because of the call number, but it's a little bit different. And I know that because it has this E, which means it's an electronic book. So I can click on that book. And then I can, because I am already logged in, if you aren't logged in, you will need to log in to do this part. But I can then open that book. And again, at this point, if you click open and you're not logged in with your school username and password, then it will ask you to enter those. But once you do, then it will open the book for you and you can read it right on your computer. So this book, this nonfiction book about how basketball was invented, you can read right on your computer and use the arrows to click. And if you begin reading, but your mom calls you to dinner or something happens and you need to stop, uh, the great thing is that uh, it will remember where you're at in the book, and the next time you come back to it, you'll start right on the page that you left off. I hope you can use this information and our, cart and our catalog to find all sorts of wonderful books. Happy reading!